Ecclesiasticus chapter 3 and verse 24. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 15. Be not ignorant of anything, and a great matter or small. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, which is the name of the Most High in ancient Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh Shai, which is the name of who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ in ancient Paleo Hebrew. Um, the name of this video is going to be The Roman Catholic Church is Babylon the Great. And the reason why I'm naming it that is kind of like a clickbait title, um, just as uh, Elder Apostle Dahar used for his Babylon is Rome video. Is um, I click baited this to make those who believe in that doctrine click on this video, okay? And I started out with those scriptures because um, anybody who teaches this doctrine that the Roman Catholic Church is Babylon the Great doesn't know the scriptures, okay? Anybody who's teaching that doctrine does not know these scriptures, my man, okay? And I'm going to show in these scriptures, we're going to show in these scriptures where. Babylon the Great is not the Vatican City, okay, or the Roman Catholic Church in general, okay? So, Spirit got on me to start out with a couple precepts from the Holy Apocrypha, all right? The scriptures say, for many have deceived themselves by their own vain, false, and opinions, okay? Now, uh, the first thing I want to go to is going to be uh, the book of uh, Psalms. Bear with me a minute as I look for it. Go to Psalms 137. And the um, reason I'm going here is, yeah, it's a dark verse or dark chapter, I'll say. But this is speaking about Babylon here, okay? Now, for those of you who believe that the Roman Catholic Church is Babylon the Great, well, my challenge to you is uh, when were the Israelites ever taken to Babylon the Great on ships? Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And I shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. You know, like paraphrasing the scripture. And Egypt is, is uh, symbolic of, uh, of Babylon. Uh, Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city, which spiritually is Sodom and Egypt. Okay, so Egypt in the scriptures, the word Egypt can mean bondage. But it's also symbolic of Babylon the Great. Okay, just to get that out of the way real quick. Okay, we all should have, we all should be familiar with that. Okay, understand these scriptures. Um, but I'm going to read this and anyone please tell me when were the Israelites taken to the Vatican City? Or to the Catholic Church in general? Which is, you know, according to you, Babylon the Great. Um, Psalms 137. By the rivers of Babylon. There we sat down, yea, we wept, and when we remembered Zion. We hung our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof, for they that carried us away captive required of us a song, and they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy, remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom, in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewards thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he that be that taketh and dashes thy little ones against the stones. Yeah, but the point of the matter is, when were the Jews ever taken to the Vatican? The Jews never got taken to the Vatican, so anybody who's teaching at the Vatican's Babylon, you're automatically disqualified by this verse right here, okay? Because this is speaking about the Jews being taken to Babylon, which they were taken to America on cargo slave ships. So that's one point for America being Babylon the Great and not the Vatican, okay? Um, now we'll head to the uh, main meat. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to get that yet. We're going to go back to the book of uh, Jeremiah. 
is you say you got to read these scriptures precept upon precept. That's how you get the understanding of these scriptures. not going to read the whole chapter because for the sake of time in this lesson but I'm just going to get what we need for edification okay the scriptures say Isaiah 28 and 10 for precept must be here and there a little okay uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 50 and we'll start at verse 9 we'll read to verse uh, 16 for though I will raise and calls to come up against Babylon, assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From whence shall she be taken? Their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain, and Chaldea shall be a spoil, and all that spoil her shall be satisfied, says Yahweh, because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroying, destroyer of my heritage, because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass, and below is bulls. Your mother shall be sore confounded. She that bore you shall be ashamed. Now wait a second. Rome doesn't have a, a, a mother nation that it came down from. The Vatican don't have no nation it came down from. Italy. Uh, Italy. It's lucky if I stutter. Um, they, they don't have no mother nation. Okay, when you read in Revelation, it says uh, the eighth is of the seventh. Okay. Now, the 8th is America, but the 7th is Great Britain, okay? Because uh, if you know history, uh, Great Britain was the mother of America, okay? But the scriptures clearly mention the mother of Babylon. But, but the, the Rome doesn't have a mother of, of, of Rome, okay? So, so anybody who's teaching that, you clearly just got cut once again, okay? You might need to go get some stitches for that cut right there, man. <laughs> Inside joke. Uh, let's see. Behold, the hittermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land and a desert. Oh, uh, uh, what is it? Isaiah, the 13th chapter. There you go. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall be not, it should not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goes by Babylon should be astonished and hiss at her plagues. Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she have sinned against Yahweh. Shout against her round about. She have given her hand. Her fountains are fallen. Her, fall, her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her. As she have done, do unto her. Scriptures say, uh, she shall drink uh, of, the, of the cup that she gave us, man. She shall drink double. Okay? Give double unto her. Okay? As it says right here. Cut off the sower from Babylon, and him that have handle the sickle on the time of harvest. For fear of the oppressing sword, they shall turn everyone to his people, and they shall flee everyone to his own land. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, man. There's no comeback against this one right here. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 23. How is the hammer of the whole earth broken asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Let's close the book for a second there. How has the hammer of the earth been broken? The Vatican ain't no hammer of the world, man. Okay, and the hammer of the earth means a nation that rules the world. What nation rules the world? America rules the world, man. The strongest nation in the world is America. That's a goddamn fact, man. Okay, so you guys, you if you're not on with this information, you're the damn fool, man. Okay, you, you deceived yourself. You truly don't know much. Okay, you got to be a goddamn buffoon to sit there and say that that Babylon the Great is a city that's two square miles long. That's pure foolishness, man. Okay. Right. I, I mean, that's just damn. You know, <laughs> that's that's stupidity right there, man. Damn stupidity. Okay. Even worse than those guys are saying that uh, Jerusalem is mystery Babylon, which I know some of them. I know some of them. Okay, but, but that's just, even that's a damn heresy. But I, I would believe that before I believe it. It's the damn Vatican, man. Just damn foolishness, man. Let's read that again. Verse 23. How is the hammer of the whole earth broken asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? I have laid a snare for thee, and thou 
art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware thou art found, and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. The Lord hath opened his armory, and hath brought forth his weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of the Lord of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Come against her from the uttermost border, open her storehouses, cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly. Let none of her be left. Let's see. Verse 29, call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she have done, do unto her. For she have been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets, and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, says Yahweh. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud which says, says the Lord God of hosts, For thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee, and the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none. Now keep in mind it says the most proud. The Russians ain't saying God bless America, all right? Which the scriptures speak about uh, the, she had, uh, you know, uh, if you read, uh, what is that, Daniel the seventh chapter, I believe, uh, speaks about, how he, he spoke great words of blasphemy against the Most High. And that's really referring to, to, um, to Edom. But Edom's headquarters is America. Okay? Because Edom is a people, not a country. Okay? But, you know, even though it is true that the Edomites are spread throughout all nations of the world, that's true. But with that being said, um, the headquarters of Edom is America. Okay? I mean, it just ain't, ain't even, you know, it's not even logical to even argue with these guys no more, man. All right, any, anybody doesn't get this information is just a damn clown. It's that simple. All right, Babylon the Great is America. It's not no damn Vatican City, okay? And as they said, we sound like a broken record by the amount of times that we go into this information. But, hey, this is, this is all for edification, man, because there's going to be more people who see this information that never followed this stuff before, man. Okay? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Verse uh, 36, Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 36. A sword is upon the liars, and they shall be dull. A sword is upon her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed. A sword is upon her horses, and upon her chariots, and upon all the mingled people that are in the midst of her. Wait a second. All the mingled people that are in the midst of her. That's not talking about no damn Vatican. The Vatican's uh, population is uh, 900 people. Well, I forgot, they teach at the, ch the church, which, yeah, the church has a, you know, uh, about 2.4 billion followers. But however, a church is not Babylon. All right, Babylon is a nation, not, not a church. Okay, that's foolishness right there. Okay, that's foolishness. Uh, let's see. And they shall become as women. A sword is upon her treasures, and they shall be robbed. A drought is upon her waters, and they shall be dried up. For it is the land of graven images, and they are mad upon their idols. Yeah, it is a land of graven images. You can you can worship anything here in America, man. But the Bible isn't isn't with that. All right, each nation is supposed to have their own gods that they worship. Which in the world to come, the only gods that can be worshipped is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Okay, and, and then anybody who tries to disobey that is going to get the rest put to death according to the scriptures. Uh, the book of, uh, what is it? The book of uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 15 verse 13. And whosoever does not believe in the Lord, the God of Israel, they should be put to death. Whether they be small or great, whether they be a man or a woman. Okay. Let's jump over to uh, verse 44. Behold, a people shall come from the north and a great nation. And many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. They shall hold the bow and the lance. They are cruel and will show no mercy. Their voice shall roar like the sea. And they shall ride upon horses. Every one put in array like a man to battle. Every, even against thee. Or Salakia. Against thee, O daughter of Babylon. The king of Babylon hath heard the report of them. His hands waxed feeble. 
and anguish took hold of him, and pains as of a woman in travail. You know, man, since we're already po approaching the, uh, the, the main cutoff of the video time, I might even have to make this into a two-part uh, lesson, man. Okay, which is good, which is good, because this is all for edification of the elect. Okay? Let's see. Uh, let's also read Jeremiah 51. This says, Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against thee, O Babylon, and against them that dwell in the midst of them, that rise up against me, a destroying wind. It will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her, and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about, against him that beneth let the archer bend his bow, and against him that lift himself up in his in his Bridane, and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her host. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of Chaldeans, and they that are thrust through in her streets. For Israel have not been forsaken, nor Judah of his God, of the Lord of hosts, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Flee out of the midst of Babylon, and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For her, this is the time of the vengeance, or, or the vengeance of the Lord. He will render unto her a recompense. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, that made all the nations, or it says all the earth, drunken. The nations have drunk of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Wait a second. Isn't that the same thing it says in Revelation 17th chapter? So for one, that clearly proves, even though the book was written by multiple different people, they all basically seen the same things, man. Okay? They, they saw read about the same things for the most part. Okay? Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain? If so, be she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. Let us go every one into his own country. For her judgment reach unto heaven. And is lifted up even to the skies. The Lord have brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord our God. May bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord have raised up the spear of the kings of the Medes. For his, the, the, slake, his device is against Babylon to destroy it. Because it is the vengeance of Yahweh, The vengeance of his temple. Set up a standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. Prepare the ambushes. For the Lord hath the, both devised and done that which he spoke against the inhabitants of Babylon. O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant and treasures, thine end is come, and the measure of thy covetousness. Alright. So, reading all this, what, what nation could this possibly be talking about, man? And we haven't even gotten into the main juicy stuff yet, man. Right, and we'll, we'll wait to get into that in, in uh, chapter 2, okay? Or part 2 would be a, a better, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Pronunciation inside joke. <laughs> All right. Uh, I mean, as I said, man, this stuff is just, you know, if you disagree, you clearly just need to go study again, man, okay? Because Babylon the Great is America, okay? It's not no Catholic church. It's not no, uh, it's not Jerusalem. Okay, it's not no Mecca, not no Saudi Arabia, okay? Though those are not Babylon. Babylon is only talking about America, okay? And it's proven in these scriptures, okay? So we're at the point now, man. Hey, listen here, brothers. We're at the point where somebody doesn't get this information. Then as the, el the elders of GMS say, hey, we're moving on, okay? Which, which is good. That's, that's good. The Spirit got on them to make that statement. If you can't get this, we're moving on, man. Okay? Like, for example, let's just talk about this for a minute. The whole debate about is Satan the God of the Old Testament or not. Look, I, I've been going back and forth with, with a brother for a damn six weeks now, man. Time after time and t after time, I have given this brother mountains of evidence to support that the God of the Old Testament is not Satan. But no matter what you show him, but, but, oh, 
but how can you say this is talking about God? This is so evil right here. Hey, listen, listen, Keith, man. If you can't get it, then we're moving on, okay? If you, I believe he truly is sincere. So, hey, look, brother, if you have a sincere question, I'll answer it. That's fine, okay? But look, man, if, if, if we're at the point now. It's been six weeks I've been arguing with you, man. So if you can't get this, I mean, we're moving on now, man, okay? Hey, you, you believe what you want. I'll believe what I want. And we'll keep it that simple. But I'm going to tell you, you're wrong, though, man. Satan is not the God of the Old Testament. Okay? Says so the scriptures. Okay? And if that's the case, if Satan is the God of the Old Testament, well, Job chapter 2. Who did Satan go to? It clearly puts a difference between Satan and God. It says, and Satan said unto God, and God said unto Satan. There are two different people, man. Two different entities, so to speak. Okay? There's no way you can get around that. Plain and simple, man. Acting like a damn clown now, man. That brother got so simple that he had to bring his wife on to back him up, man. Kid you not. <laughs> not going to say the name or nothing, but that brother, hey, look, I haven't seen a sucker that soft since Dreadlord, man. All right? Haven't seen a sucker as soft as, uh, as Keith since that day, that day, damn devil, demon, dreadlord, man. Okay, that damn demon. And he's on there saying that Babylon the Great is a damn Vatican. So, so what the hell does that brother know? He, he, he's a damn fool, man. Brother's a damn fool to sit there and say such nonsense. He don't know much. We haven't even gone into that whole slavery thing yet, man. I, I can't wait to do that. That's going to be a piece of cake right there, man. That's going to be some fun right there, man. Hey, hey, forget uh, forget sports. That, that's all we need there, man. That that would be some <laughs> classic entertainment right there. <laughs> I mean, at, at this point, man, those brothers be jumping through damn hoops of fire with their, with their pants soaked in damn gasoline at this point. Are trying to, uh, you know, get around these scriptures, man. Okay? Because they, they just can't, you know, accept what the scriptures say. And that's okay, because this, this ain't really for them to begin with. Trying to see if I forgot any, uh, Good precepts that might need to come out. As I said, I'll go into the main meat in uh, part two of this uh, this sit down. Oh, I want to get this real quick. Um, in part two, we're gonna read over um, in Revelation where it speaks about uh, seven uh, mountains. Okay, now now people say, well, see, it has to be Rome because Rome sits on seven hills. But the point and the, the issue I got with this is uh, when you read the Bible, a lot of times hills and mountains actually mean governments. And just to prove my statement so I don't have to do it in the next lesson is going to be this. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 25. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, says the Lord, which destroys all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee and rule thee down from the rocks and will make thee a burnt mountain. Okay, so now with that being said, I'm going to read it one more time. Now we understand that according to the scriptures, a hill or a mountain can also mean a government, not a physical mountain or hill. Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 25. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, says the Lord, which destroys all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand against thee and roll thee down from the rocks. It will make thee a burnt mountain. Okay? Um... So anyway, uh, that's just going to be uh, part one to uh, the Roman Catholic Church is Babylon. Uh, again, that title is just being sarcastic, of course. Uh, so if you want to watch uh, part two, uh, Lord willing, if I can remember, I'll put a link down in the uh, 
uh, comment section or the uh, description box down below. If I'm not able to, well, you can just look up uh, part two on YouTube. Just type in the name of this video and put in part two. Um, that being said, I'm going to say shalom.